All right, guys, so your girl's bringing you some amazing deals today. I'm gonna show you how to get this for just $18.77, guys, or just 69 cents each item. Remember to subscribe if you like the content. All right, guys, so we're gonna hop right into these deals. We are at Walmart for some money makers today. Now, guys, this deal is good regardless. This is a no coupons needed deal. It has $1.24 down from almost five bucks. So this is something that you use and you don't have coupons for, guys. I would still grab it, but I have a $3 off two coupon that came in Sunday's paper. Guys, so it's gonna make it not only free, but a 52 cent money maker, guys. I grabbed six, they had seven, but the coupon is for $3 off of two. All right, guys, so here's another amazing deal on this Garnier Whole Blends. Now, guys, they are $1.62. Do you see how much that is originally? $6.47, yes, down to just $1.62. Now, what I hate about this one, though, is, guys, I have a $3 off two coupon for the Whole Blends, and it specifically excludes this one. I don't know why. I got all the way up to the registers, could not figure out for the life of me why it did not work. And then me and the cashier, she was really nice about it. We really read the fine print, guys. It includes everyone except for this in Pacific. But if you like this brand and you still use it, $1.62, guys, I would definitely grab it. But for me, I'm not going to use it. Nobody really buys them, so I can't flip it. So $1.62 for me, it, it doesn't make sense to pay it because it's not going to go anywhere. But, guys, definitely if you use this brand, check your local Walmarts. Like I said, I've been finding clearance at several different stores it's the third different store i found some clearance at and it's the same clearance but different prices guys the store i went to before it was only marked down to like six dollars i think another one i walked uh went to was like 4.99 so i think this clearance is matching so this is the third one i went to that i found the same exact item on clearance and guys these are in different areas different little parts of the town so it's not like i went to ones that were back to back to back i went to one way out in arlington way out in fort worth like well two out in fort worth but like i was saying guys sometimes the clearance matches each other so if you see one thing on clearance at another store when you go to another walmart check to see because it might be all right guys so i didn't have a coupon for this one but i still thought that was a pretty good deal i think that's like a 28 ounce guys for just a dollar and 87 cents so i just went ahead and grabbed that even though i don't have the coupon and that's what i was saying these deals are no coupons needed you can still get it for pretty cheap or almost free with ibotta rebates all right guys so i also decided to grab this Aussie. this Aussie doesn't have a coupon either but for a dollar 24 i don't use it but i think i had a couple people asking me about it so that's why i always tell my customers like hey if you looking for something just ask me and if i can find it while i'm out for really cheap i'll go ahead and grab it so sometimes why you see me grab things and not grab things just because i either know it's not gonna sell i'm not gonna use it um and I don't want to really want to try it. So at least I know for this one, guys, I have a regular too that asked me about this and the head and shoulders. So that's why I was so excited for the head and shoulders out of anything. I thought people would like Pantene, Tresemme, L'Oreal, but no, a lot of my customers love head and shoulders. So this was amazing for me. All right, guys. So this is another really good deal on the Tresemme. I hate I don't have Tresemme coupons, but guys at $1.24 and you know, I need to submit all my receipts to Fetch. Fetch Rewards does give you extra points for like the Unilever products and Tresemme is included in that guys. Now I really debated about grabbing this one but i got this before and it sat for like maybe three months i brought it back every sunday before i had my permanent space and nobody bought it i think i marked it down to i think i got it for like 50 cents or a dollar and i was only selling it for i think like three bucks and i marked it down to two bucks i think i marked it down just to a dollar because i had a ton of them i probably had about 15 of them and i just wanted to get rid of it because it was taking up so much space on my counter but guys they didn't sell until they got down to a dollar and I was just like, okay, I guess people don't like the Tresa Mae style and stuff either. So I'm going to leave it behind. But guys, look at the rest of this. I don't have any Dove coupons either and it sucks. But guys, I'm happy with what I found. All right, guys. So here's another amazing deal. So I'm just going to walk down the clearance section, to be honest. So these are going to be like honorable mentions, things that I'm not really going to get. But I definitely think they're still worth it if it's products that you use, guys. I wanted to do the Pantene, but it was... Um, I got $3 off of three of them, and then I bought it, didn't attach to this rebate. It was only one for $1.74, so I did not get it. But like I said, guys, if these are products that you use, like this makes the perfect sense. Stock up, guys. These are a lot of stock up prices. And I say that because shampoo, body wash, deodorant, laundry soap, like things like that doesn't really expire. And if they do, I mean, it's a long ways away. So now I'm starting to see if it's a product that you use, you're going to use it before it expires. Guys, $2 for this dub. And I had to do this voiceover because Walmart's music is always so freaking loud. Like, I was making the video and all I hear is Walmart's music in the background. It's nice to be playing some jams sometimes, but Jesus Christ, so I have to always 
over record or voice over these videos because of them but guys like i said these are still i'm still going like yes these are still amazing amazing deals now guys i was debating about doing the old spice but i don't really think it was worth it for the three dollars and 76 cents so i kind of just let that go because like i said my goal is to spend really a dollar like really i aim for getting stuff for a dollar but if not i think the highest i'm willing to go depending on what i'm selling it for might be about a dollar 75 cents so when you see my shelving and you see my inventory guys you see my soil i am very transparent and i think i'm very transparent because it's I, i'm selling everything for so cheap so you really can't argue with my prices despite if i got it for free or even stole it like the job see i legally steal guys I get a high from going in the store and either paying nothing out of pocket or going to the store paying this money, turn around, submitting my receipt and getting it all back. Because I feel like I'd be literally stealing, but legally stealing. You can't steal, you know, with a receipt. <laughs> so, guys, and this is my cart currently. All right, guys, so here's my receipt for those of you that got trust issues, guys. So I spent $32.77 out of pocket. Guys, this is over $130 worth of items. So I saved over 100 bucks, guys. Not including, which I'm gonna say this and it's up to you if you wanna try it or not. All right, so here's just my experience with it, guys. So I'm a Walmart Plus member and I don't know if I bought it in Walmart Plus has partnered together because they have pretty much all the exact same rebates. And guys, when I tried to do it through Walmart Plus and I bought, I linked my accounts together it did not give me credit back so I used coupons and it revoked my credit from Ibotta but I did get back the rebates on the Walmart Plus app now this is the second time that I went into Walmart they weren't leaked I was uploading my receipt but I used a coupon for items that was on Ibotta but I was not necessarily going to submit the receipt for them because I used coupons and I didn't think it was going to take it but I was going to get it anyway and so guys they actually surprised me and they did give me credit for it even though i used coupons and just now when i submitted my receipt i still got credit for it even though i use coupons now guys you might not so if that's something you don't want to do then don't do it just submit the receipt to i buy or just use the coupon and pay the price out of pocket it's completely up to you guys so after everything i got back six dollars for my bottle right now i'm so stupid i should have did the head and shoulders on three separate receipts i only did it on two so i only got the credit back for two of them on one receipt because the limit is one on ibotta so i got back six dollars i should have got back nine guys they have not reset the shit yet but i should be getting back another eight dollars making it eighteen dollars and 77 cents or guys just 69 cents each i know in the beginning i said 77 but guys 69 cents each for each of these items is an amazing deal remember if you like this content please subscribe